गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज कस्तूरी दे स्पीकिंग ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ सेल इट्स अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सेल चैप्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू क्लास सिक्स सिलेबस आईसीएससी दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन एनिमल सेल एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ प्लांट सेल द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर इज द सेम ओनली देर आर सर्टन पर्टिकुलर सर्टन डिफरेंसेज आर देर बिटवीन एन एनिमल सेल एंड अ प्लांट सेल ओके the basic structure that is the cell membrane in both the cases this is the cell membrane this outside border the outermost uh, part of the cell is the cell membrane this is also there is a cell membrane outside the plant cell also this green color is the plant cell membrane ठीक then uh, the another three a uh, three main basic parts are there one is cell membrane another is the nucleus and the another and between the nucleus and the cell membrane lies a jelly like structure called the cytoplasm in both the cases there these uh, are there uh, this is the cell nucleus and this is the cytoplasm okay now uh, in in the cytoplasm there are certain organelles present okay these organelles are the uh, certain structures which are present in the cytoplasm which perform various functions of the cell okay like the mitochondria the vacuole the centrosome the uh, golgi body golgi bodies golgi apparatus then endoplasmic reticulum then uh, uh, these uh chromosomes are there in the nucleus nucleoplasm is there nucleolus is there these are the things present in the both the cells only the main difference between a plant cell and animal cell is that there uh, there's a cell wall outside the cell membrane of the plant cell this is the cell membrane and this is the cell wall <coughs> another the basic difference main difference is the plastid present in uh, in the plant cell but that is not present in the animal cell which uh, these plastids are uh, the certain coloring substances present in the plant cell then only they contain the chloroplast which perform the basic function that is they uh, th these are green in color and so they can manufacture the food another uh, uh, main main difference is the vacuole large vacuole is present in the plant cell but in the animal cell very uh, small or no vacuoles are present in the animal cell okay and the other things are almost same now we come to cell membrane each cell is surrounded by a cell membrane or plasma membrane it is thin delicate and flexible a it's a living structure present in both the plant and animal cell it is selectively permeable membrane that is it has fine pores on them on it and uh, which allows certain molecules to enter the cell and holds on back the others now we come to cell wall only plant cells as i told you all earlier that only plant cells have a cell wall it lies outside the cell membrane it makes it is made up of cellulose it gives shape and rigidity to the plant cell it's a non living structure unlike the cell membrane it is a non living structure it protects the cell from the entry of disease causing agents it protects the underlying plasma membrane and protoplasm against mechanical injuries it is freely permeable as it allows all substances in the solution to enter and leave the cell without any hindrance now the cytoplasm it's a semi liquid or viscous colorless and translucent substance it's found between the nucleus and the cell membrane now we come to then third basic structure that is the nucleus a small spherical it's a small spherical mass mostly located towards the center of the cytoplasm it regulates and coordinates various life processes of the cell it plays an important part during cell division which we will come in the later stage 
uh, now it has nucleoplasm which is a relatively dense structure present in the nucleus it has nuclear membrane delicate and porous enclosing nucleoplasm it has nuclear last a small darker body inside the nucleoplasm it has chromosomes thread like structures present inside the nucleoplasm now this chromosomes they carry certain characteristics called genes these char characteristics are called genes these are present in the chromosome which are responsible for transparent transmitting characters from parents to the offspring the number of chromosomes is definite in each species for example in humans we have 46 chromosomes which are occur in 23 pairs in each cells in pea plant there are seven of them now i told you that in the cytoplasm there are distributed certain organelles what are organelles they are minute structures present in the cytoplasm seen under electron microscope like endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes mitochondria golgi bodies lysosomes centrosome and plastids now plastids plastids are of three types one is chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast chloroplast these are green plastids they trap solar energy for photosynthesis we know plants uh, manufacture food by the process of photosynthesis for which they have to trap solar energy which is done by the green plastids that is the chloroplast present in the cell now chromoplast they contain yellow and red pigments impart the varied colors to the flowers and the fruit for attracting insects for pollination now leucoplast leucoplast are colorless plastids they occur in the seeds starting stem yes uh, storing starch fats and proteins now vacuoles vacuoles are non living inclusions in the cytoplasms bound by a membrane they are filled with water and different substances in the solution form that is called cell sap okay in plant cells the vacuoles are usually quite large in animal cells they are lesser in number and very small in size now cell division the cell division is required to produce new cells for what for replacement for repair for reproduction and for growth okay now i told you that there is a some basic difference between the plant cell and animal cell in plant cell the size are larger and in animal cell the size of the cell is smaller in plant cell they have a definite cell wall no cell wall is present in animal cells cytoplasm it's not so dense only a thin layer of cytoplasm is found in plant cells but in animal cell cytoplasm is denser and more granular fills in almost the entire cell plant cell vacuoles present one or more vacuoles in case of animal cells are very small or temporary concerned with excretion or secretion plant cells contains plastids animal cells do not contain them <clears throat> plant cells no centrosome with centrioles but an animal cell centrosome with centrioles are present okay this is the end of the chapter cell and i uh, i'm giving you the my email id okay kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com if you have any query you can uh, contact me in this uh, email id and please do subscribe in my channel thank you i'll uh, come with my next video uh, with digestion chapter